My name is Caroline from Team GCM, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own fossils so you can act like a paleontologist at home. What's a paleontologist, you might ask? They're someone that studies fossils, and fossils are preserved remains of ancient organisms. So for our fossils, we're just going to be using these little dinosaur toys right here. And then three simple ingredients. So we're going to need soil, flour, and water. Let's take our half a cup of soil and put it in our mixing bowl in the center. One cup of flour. And then three quarters cup of water that we're going to be adding in gradually. Just to make sure that we don't oversaturate it. So let's add half of that water. Stir it on up. And then the rest of that water. Let me show you what your consistency is supposed to look like. So you're going to want your mixture to look like this. It kind of has like a cookies and cream look to it, right? It has this sticky consistency so that way it'll stick nice and tight to our dinosaur toys. Once your mixture is ready, go ahead and grab your dinosaur toys so we can mold them into our fossil shape. Go ahead and grab about a golf ball size worth of dough. It's going to be really sticky, so you're going to flatten it out into the palm of your hand like this. Grab your dinosaur toy, and then mush it in there. And then what you'll do with the excess is you'll fold it over the dinosaur toy like so. And if you have any kind of gaps or anything, go ahead and grab a little pinch. See, I have the tail exposed, so I'll go ahead and do that, cover that, and then flatten it out. And if you keep your fingers wiggling and fast like this, it won't stick to your hands as much. So this is a pretty good shape. It's all nice and covered, so I'm going to set it aside on my plate that I've lined with parchment paper. I'm going to set it right there, and then I'm going to get going with the other dinosaur. So again, golf ball-like size, flatten it into the palm of your hand, mush that dinosaur into your dough, and then go ahead and fold it over, and then move really quickly or it'll stick to you. Okay, looking good. So now... I have my two dinosaur fossils, but they're not done yet. You need to leave them out in the sun until they're hard on the outside, or you can bake them for 25 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. I went ahead and I made one earlier, so let me show you what it looks like when it's finished. And here's your finished dinosaur fossil. It looks exactly the same, but it's a little tougher on the outside. And now it's finally time for the excavation, which is just a fancy word for digging something up. You're going to need two tools something from your kitchen, I chose a fork, and a small brush. That way you can brush off your dinosaur like a paleontologist. So you can also use your hands for this part, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dig my fork into the center and then slowly pull back and see if I see anything. And I don't quite see a dinosaur yet, so I'll go ahead and flip it to the other side and slowly pull that back as well, just slowly excavating. And look, I think I see a foot. So we're going to go ahead and pull that apart. You can use your fingers for this as well. There we go. And look, I have my dinosaur and he's not quite done yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our little brush, completely clean them off. And voila, 